this video we're going to be covering what each one of these parameters are and how they correspond with our weld. So we start it up. So the most important method, whenever I'm starting with a new piece of metal or, or project, I will always set my spot first to meet the project and then my power and time. So why in that order? So how this works is that this is the concentration or delusion of these two. So let's say we pick perfect settings to melt the project, but we find that we need to increase it. Well, then it's going to weaken the weld because it's spreading our settings out into a wider space. So this one is first and then that one's second and then this one's third. Sometimes in a general sense, we can view this as coarse adjustment and fine adjustment. I like starting here for the most part, unless we're dealing with something that's incredibly small, then I will put this to 0.5 and 0.5. And then it's always good to start low and then pair them together. So if they're both 0.5s, then I'd go up 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and so on until I start getting a weld. The idea is to get it to barely weld and then you can increase time to fill that full spot in. And that way it's a more gentle full weld. I get a lot of questions about speed and gas. So what this is, is it's taking these three numbers and it's saying, I want to discharge these, this weld this many times a second if I held down the foot pedal. And so that would be seven and a half times per second if I held down the foot pedal at those settings. Now gas, gas is an interesting one. So what does this actually mean, right? Four, three, two, what, what, what setting do I need to use for gas? So gas is in charge of releasing argon through the tube inside the chamber. And it's going to release that amount of gas at the pressure you've set from your regulator, which we recommend seven liters per minute. So four seconds of gas after the last trigger was received. So I'm going to push the foot pedal now and you can see it count down. So, and if I hit a foot pedal right now, it's going to bounce back up to four because it received another trigger. And so it's going to flow that gas until the timer counts out. It's going to close the gas and then be ready for another trigger to be received. Now, if you're using gas, this is important. The first trigger is to start that timer. So you have to lift off the pedal and then hit the foot pedal again in order to initiate welds. Secondly, the wave. So the wave, most of the time we're going to be in normal because between these variables, we can get a very good weld. Now there are certain uh, industries that this will be more attractive to, such as medical or aerospace or, or uh, some ultra fine industrial applications where we want to change this. So this is how our weld form is right now. So that means it's going to immediately get to 1.0 kilowatts. And then this top line right here is this amount of time. So it's going to hold it for one millisecond and then immediately stop power. So if I go up, it's going to add, and this is, the slope is secondary to this time. So it's going to add the amount of time it takes to ramp up to that number, hold it for that number, and then drop off immediately. The same thing is true for this, but in reverse, immediately hit that number, hold it for that, and then it's going to add time to add that slope down to zero. This is both front and back. And then we have dual pulse, where it's going to hit this, these settings twice really fast. And then we have one that's similar, where it's half hard, full hard. And you heard that it kind of made a flickering noise. It's going to do that every time we, we adjust out of this. I believe this is the last one. Cool. So for the most part, I like staying in normal. Uh, we can, you can experiment with each one of those waveforms and see if it produces a better weld for you. But this will be an excellent way to discover what settings are going to be best for your project. If you have further questions, please let us know. 
We're happy to help wherever we can.